morning everybody hope you're all safe and well thought I'd showcase a couple of little knives I'm making at the moment what's the matter let's do something else what do you mean like what don't know hmm I tell you what we could do Exmoor blades live on Exmoor why don't we show people some parts of Exmoor because you know some of these people may not even have been here before what do you reckon? Good. What do you reckon, guys? Should we go outside and have a look? Get out of the shed? Ah, I think so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Morning, everybody. Welcome to Tar Steps. Let's go and have a look. Tar Steps is an ancient clapper bridge that possibly dates back to 1000 BC. A clapper bridge is a bridge without concrete to hold it up. In recent years, the swollen river has dislodged the one to two ton slabs which have been carefully replaced into their original positions. The bridge is 55 metres long with 17 stone slabs going across it and it lies one metre above the water level. The bridge stands at the heart of the National Nature Reserve woodland area owned by the Exmoor National Park. If you're up for a challenge, there is a 6.9 mile walk from Tar Steps to Withypool, so grab your walking boots. Apologise. Behind me, I don't know if you can see it, I'm always going to climb it, but I can't be bothered. The Dunkery Beacon, which is the highest point on Exmoor. And we'll do a little pan around here because the views from here are stunning. You can see across the channel to the homes up near Western Supermare, Hinkley Point, and you can see across to Wales. So let's have a look. Down here, guys, a little uh, Exmoor treat. Now, I call them, they're called bilberries or blueberries, I call them whortleberries. 
they are absolutely gorgeous. We normally pick all these and wife makes lovely, um, what is it she makes with them? The little um, Crumble? Crum no, the little cakes, isn't it? Oh yeah, cakes, cupcakes. Mm, cupcakes and stuff. So I'll have to come back up here with the missus and we'll have to grab a load. Mm. Anyway, let's go down to Hoarder Woods. Just down over there. Beautiful. Horner Wood is part of a national nature reserve and one of the largest unenclosed ancient oak woodlands in Britain. Horner Woods is owned and managed by the National Trust. It is defined as an ancient woodland, which means that it dates back to at least 1600 AD, but all the evidence points to it being far older. If you're into your bird watching, you'll love it here as the local bird life includes the pied flycatcher, wood warbler, lesser spotted woodpecker, red star, and dipper. The woods are also home to 15 of the UK's 17 known bat species. Timber from Horner Wood will have most likely been used in the construction of some of the late medieval houses on the Holmacott estate. The timbers of some of these have been dentro dated, indicating that the trees were felled at dates between summer 1437 and winter 1545. be the last place of day to sort of show you. This is another part obviously of Exmoor which a lot of people miss. This is Horlock Weir. One of my favourite places to come down with the kids and stuff. We love it down here. It's just quiet most of the time. Serene as you can hear. So take a look. Horlock Weir is just 18.3 metres above sea level and is at constant risk of flooding during stormy weather. An unusual thing that can be seen at low tide is the remains of an ancient forest that a millennia ago lay some five miles inland. It is thought that Porlock Weir was inhabited from at least 220,000 BC and probably much earlier. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. If it's something you enjoy or something you'd like to see more of, you know, maybe next time I could take you to some quieter areas of Exmoor, some more undiscovered places, because there's plenty of them. What do you think, Al? Sounds good. Right, okay. So let me know in the comments if you want to. And again, thanks very much for joining me and Eloise. And...
<laughs> we shall see you soon. Oh, and please, if you do enjoy this, please subscribe and hit the like button and the notifications because it helps me carry on doing this. Anyway, take care everyone, keep safe. Bye.